Hey everybody, it's Nicole Rivera and it is week 26 of the year here on June 26. There's a lot of 26s going on. We are halfway through our year of writing prompts. I cannot believe it. It feels like a sort of graduation. And here in this house, that makes all kinds of sense to me because if you know, and I think I might have mentioned this already, we are a very uh, school home here. My husband is a high school teacher. I used to be a high school teacher. My son is in public school. So today we are celebrating the last day of school in the New York City public school system. With all of that in mind, I've decided that this week's prompt is going to be the last week, uh, last day of school. Sorry, last day of school. Now, with thinking about us making it through halfway of our writing prompts, that could lead you into a sort of graduation or a commencement type of story. It could just be about looking forward to summer vacation, or you could set your story actually in a school on the last day of school or dealing with it this year, what does that look like in a quarantine situation or any uh, world that you have going on in your own uh, wonderful creations that you're building. However, I do wanna add one added uh, sort of limitation to you. The New York City public school year is always 180 days, so I thought it would be fun if we challenge ourselves to a bit of flash and go for 180 word, word limit. So we're talking about the last day of school. However, that translates to you. We are writing a story that is 180 words long and we are very, very much celebrating that we have made it through 26 weeks of writing short stories. So I felt like we could take a break with a short one this week. <laughs> and starting next week, we are into the second half of the year. What will 2020 hold for you in your writing? Only time will tell, but if you remain committed, as Ray Bradbury told us, and we started this whole year off with, if you write a single short story every single week, there's kind of no way that you could write 52 bad ones, so we're going to keep plugging forward. And I'm sure if you've been doing this all year, you're improving as you move along. So I feel like starting with this second half of the year in front of us, it's going to be all wonderful um, growth and great writing. Can't wait to read what you have to write. Last day of school, 180 words. Have fun with it. I will see you next week. If you're interested in joining me in a community of people doing our writing thing for the summer, um, the Happy Campers Club has its doors open for a little bit now because we are going to start with new month in July. Um, so I will put the link in the little doobly-doo. Uh, right now, the early bird price for the entire summer is $149.99. Uh, and I will only be keeping the doors open until Tuesday anyway. But the early bird price stops this Sunday. That is June 28th. Um, and what we do there, just a quick run through, is every single weekday, uh, we have Zoom calls on Monday. It's all about goal setting for the week and what we want to accomplish and what we have accomplished in the previous week. Really uh, getting specific with our goals and making sure that we are pushing ourselves forward and also not like overdoing it sometimes you set goals and it's just like that's not going to happen <laughs> so we want to remain realistic and specific so we do that every single monday and check in with each other tuesday is a massive writing day so we just have write-ins all day wednesday is really just to connect with each other and help build that community with a, uh, an hour-long coffee chat coffee hour we call it and we just chat and talk about where we may need support and uh what's going on with our writing but also you know just relax Thursday for July, since July is Camp NaNoWriMo, we've done lots of different things on Thursday throughout uh, the different Happy Campers Club, but this July is Camp NaNoWriMo, and a number of people that are in Happy Campers Club, including myself, are trying to complete a book-length project. So Thursday's gonna be a second writing day, so we'll have some more write-ins. And Friday is, just like it is here, all about writing prompts. So we share a writing prompt, but we do it in a Zoom call together, and we all write on a prompt and then we read aloud. And it's been lots of fun. It's been such a great community. Uh, I am blessed to have it. I would love to have you join us. You know, we could, your goals could be accomplishing these stories every single week, maybe looking for places to submit them. 
getting feedback from us in the group uh, and just keeping you accountable to whatever it is that you want to get done in your writing life. So again, the link is, uh, is here. And also, um, I talked a little bit about it this last week on the Stop Writing Alone uh, podcast. That was episode number 75. Uh, just talking about Camp NaNoWriMo and the Happy Campers Club. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to go back and celebrate with the boys because they are out of school and we are all very happy. All the work is done. The computers are shut. We're not printing anything except for my writing. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a little fun today. So enjoy. Last day of school. Celebrate 180 words only. And I will see you next week. Happy writing. See ya.